Today, I'm passing along one of my favorite Christmas object lessons. It's called cereal and spoons. Most children start to get a bad case of the gimmies this time of year. Between Black Friday sales, holiday toy catalogs, and endless wish lists stuck to the fridge, it's easy to see why kids start to lose the true meaning of Christmas as their materialistic urges take over. I use this object lesson as my Christmas reality check. To begin, you'll need a plastic bowl and spoon for each child, a box of kids' cereal, and milk. Put a bowl in front of each child. Pass around the cereal box so that each child can pour some for themselves. Come around with milk to put on top. Here's the important part: don't pass out the spoons. To begin the lesson, say, "Okay, we've got this great cereal. Let's eat." Someone should announce very quickly that there are no spoons. Oh dear! What are we going to do? If we try to eat with our fingers, we'll end up with a huge mess. There will be milk all over the table, soggy cereal all over the floor, soggy cereal on our outfits. Without spoons, we'd have to eat this cereal with our fingers. Ew! Sticky. Most of us would have soggy milk running down our necks. Good news! I have spoons. Pass out the spoons. Now everyone can enjoy your cereal while I talk. How many of you have gone through a catalog or a website that has a lot of outfits, toys, or video games on it? Take answers. And how many of you have thought you wanted almost everything on a page? Take answers. When we wish for something like a hundred outfits or dozens of video games, we don't often get that much. We usually get one or two, but it rarely feels like everything we wanted. God is a little like the spoon. Hold up some cereal on the spoon. He spoons good things out to us in small mouthfuls. Do you know what I mean? Eat what's on your spoon. He doesn't allow us to be given too many presents at once. Otherwise, we can become spoiled and think we're entitled to a lot of stuff. If we're given too much and we don't rely on God to give us the things we need when we need them, we can end up with a huge mess. That's sort of like putting this bowl to our mouths and gulping. What can happen? They should respond. We'll make a mess and maybe even choke. There's a thing called spiritual indigestion. It's when you have so many material things that you can't taste the spirit of God anymore. One prophet in the Old Testament said in Proverbs thirty eight and nine, "Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, 'Who is the Lord?'" Or I may become poor and steal, and so dishonor the name of my God. God is spooning out what we need, so that we don't get so much that we forget about Him or the important things in life. Let's thank God for His abundance, which comes to us in spoonfuls. Isn't that a fun lesson to remind us all about Christmas morning expectations? For twenty more Christmas activities you can use with your Sunday school class, please visit christianitycove.com/forward/slash/christmas.